Hey y'all, welcome back. Let us go. Heading to Terminal 3, South Door 8. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Yes, we have the airport, exciting. So I've set up a little bit of a loop here. Should be pretty good. Depends on how busy it is tonight, but we'll see. I think the screen camera is a teensy bit overexposed. Give me one moment. My bad. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So this ride's currently 1019, just started, and the cost of this ride is $28 for a couple of airport loops. Which I won't lie is whew, a little bit expensive, but hey, thank you to the patrons. Uh, you guys make it a lot easier to to do the series, so I really appreciate your help. Okay, we're gonna cross the light rail tracks. Nice and easy. There's just something quite nice about the Waymo ambiance at night. Oh, forgot to plug in the GoPro. There's another Waymo making a left turn over there, and another Waymo just made a right turn. Lots of Waymos tonight. Excuse me there. All right, there we go. Oh, Waymo just made a U-turn. At this light, I'm gonna go ahead and bet that that's the 44th Street. It was going to 44th Street, Skytrain Station. You know, we're actually following it, so we'll get to find out. Oh, so sorry, my cable was in shot there. Trying to, oh, oh crap. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, off to 44th Street. Wonder who. One of these days I'm gonna come up here and just hang out at 44th Street. Uh, Michael, I know you're watching. I, pr I promise you'll do that eventually. You can count how many cars there are. Um, but it looks like somebody's either getting picked up or dropped off right now. Um, so that's, that's something. Freeway testing. That's pretty exciting.
I just wanted to say a big thanks again to everyone at Weibo who did that awesome downtown Phoenix thing in, in 2022. Got me the, the depot tour and interview and all that. That was super, super amazing. I don't, I don't feel like I, uh, I don't feel like I, I said enough in, in terms of thanks there. It was really an incredible, uh, <laughs> like people went really far out of their way to make that happen. And it, I just, yeah, it was great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, now I'm excited. <laughs> I know I know Caius EV did this a couple months ago, but you know what? I didn't get access until recently, and so I'm like, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's okay. I, I don't actually need to go to the airport until April, so... Although, if, if they did reach my house by April, that would make it easier. Because um, when I, I'm going to San Francisco on like April 6th or something, I don't know, it's, it's a Wednesday. Uh, but if I could get to the airport via Waymo, you know, that'd be, that'd be sweet. Not, not counting on it though, that's okay. So there's a weird noise. I don't know what that was. It didn't sound like a wiper cleaning. It's kind of gave me a compressed air vibe or pump. Um, okay, so yeah, it's not like holiday slammed over here, but there's still a good trickle of good trickle of folks. vehicles. Arrivals. Not departures. I'll be honest, I don't really go over to the terminals a lot. When I go to the airport, it's I usually do economy lot parking or I take the SkyTrain. Oh, that's right. It goes over here for whatever reason that may be. Uh, okay. This doesn't look like it's going to be crazy, but hey, we'll see. That was a nice, uh, nice reaction. Slowing down, but not too drastically. It felt more in intentional than anything. Almost there. Don't forget your belongings. Uh-huh. tend to notice, if you look on the visualization there, the... is the camera moving down? Oh, crud. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't think it is. Oh, okay, I'll leave it alone. Uh, okay, so there's a Waymo. What I meant to say was the truck, uh... truck was, uh... Oh, there's somebody else getting picked up right there. <laughs> the... Uh, sometimes vehicles look like they're tilting to the right a little You're bit. You're here. Anyway, Please make sure it's clear before exiting. That's not very interesting. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's continue. Go ahead and make this pull in. Or pull out, pull out as Kevin would say. Um, good pull out. Merge, maybe. Not the busiest night, but uh, pretty, pretty cool nonetheless. Okay, now we're gonna go around the loop and hit terminal three. 
And for some reason that's gonna take 16 minutes. So there are timestamps in the description if you would like to skip around, but if you're here for the long haul, like be my guest, I guess. <laughs> Also, if there's way more people watching, and if you'd be interested in doing another collaboration like we did for Downtown Phoenix, but this time for the freeway launch for public passengers, that would be that would be pretty sweet. I'd like to see uh, you know what the car can do if we in the back seat with an engineer or anything, and talk about what made this possible and what the challenges were and all that jazz. That'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. We're gonna pass the cell phone lot. And now I get to look at all the interesting planes out the window. I swear I saw like a NASA, a plane with the, the NASA logo on the tail. It just looks like there's a bunch of Frontier 737s parked over here or something. Frontier uses Boeing, don't they? I don't, I'm not an AV geek, sorry. I mean, I'd like to be, but. That's like my third hobby. It goes AVs, trains, planes, followed by space and rockets and a distant fourth. But <laughs> maybe manufacturing. I don't know. Uh, man, this is uh, quite an obscure little rabbit here. Maybe the, maybe the freeway capabilities will make it easier for the car to escape. Because if you go to the terminal, the car gets stuck in this 10 minute escape maneuver through the weird back streets. <laughs> okay, we're, yeah, that's, that's the end of that. I wish I had access when Kaya CV did, and she came over here during the holidays. <laughs> right in that, right in that traffic rush. That was a that was a really good video. If you haven't seen it already, um, I would recommend.
pedestrian on the left side walking up the bike lane. Waymo spotted it with no problems. I did just watch AI Driver's FSD Beta 12 recap today, which somehow has over 100,000 views already. If you're wondering, yes, I am very jealous. But, what I'd like to know is if FSD Beta 12 would have seen that pedestrian wearing all black walking up the bike lane in the dark. You know, maybe. Oh, yeah, I've been, we've been over here in, the, in a video before. It's just going the reverse way. Yeah, okay, so... Maybe this wasn't the biggest brain move. I know my videos already have a reputation for being boring, but this is ridiculous. Street Skytrain Station. And I find it, I still find it kind of hilarious that we're over a year after the launch of the Skytrain Station and there's still only ex exactly one pickup spot that you can go to on there, even though the, it's usually very dead over there. So I don't know why they can't open up the, the whole area over there, just say anywhere along this zone. I mean, okay. I, I know Sky Harbor is marked on the geofence as one of those, like, pick-a-point areas. So they probably, there's probably not the functionality to allow you to select the, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, what's sad though, is that there's a really killer place right at the, right at the beginning of Runway 26 to go watch planes land and it's it's really it's really nice over there but it's technically inside the geofence the airport specialized geofence which means you can't get there cuz you can there are spots there are drop off spots on the map for it however 
if you try to select them, it'll just redirect you to 44th Street SkyTrain Station. Um, which is fine. But, eh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like this Waymo ahead is also going to terminals. Don't trap yourselves in. I'm going to make a jump to light speed. <laughs> stop sign. Okay. I mean, that is technically a do not enter one way, so I guess that makes sense. Um, finally, we're back. And what a loop it was. Alright. Almost there. Don't forget your belongings. Yes. still holding out for a experienced rider mode that disables all of the nags and reminders and voiceovers and sound effects and now I just want to get in the car and go without it all done. Here's how you use the app to pick you up. Uh, yep, no worries. I've done this a couple times. Okay, this might be a little bit more interesting of a merge. Just kidding. Well, you know, actually, yeah, we just kind of slotted right in there. Nice job. It, you know, it does look like people are using the terminal service. The both time, both little times I've been over here, it's it's uh it's being used. Like, what can I say? Yeah, right there. Writer initials and everything. Oh no 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 no! Let's not. Oh, fit. You're here. Please make I was sure gonna... it's clear before exiting. Oh, I was gonna get out and take a thumbnail photo. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> For <Frick's> sake. <laughs> okay, so much for that. Um. <laughs> Dang it. You can't just stop there. That's not how that works. Uh, okay. Whatever. Good job giving that pedestrian some space. I do find myself missing the physical start ride button. I don't understand the five second delay between ride end and ride resume. There's obviously a reason for it, but, uh, if I could just mash the start ride button and get going immediately, you know, in situations like that, where it's just like, uh, yeah, it's like, okay, we're in a weird spot. Okay, so... There's another, yeah, see, people are using this. Like, somebody's opening the trunk right now. There's two Waymos. Like, this is, this is awesome to see this. Like, real people. This is the most I've ever seen pickups in a concentrated area. And I think once the freeways come into play, I think it's, it's, it's on. Like, that is, that is so cool. Dang, I can't. 
I should stop and interview people for, I mean, probably people won't want to be bothered, but <laughs> that'd be cool, right? Like, how'd you, how'd you hear about Waymo? And uh, what made you want to use them for, for the airport tonight? Um, I guess. Because as much as it feels silly to me, as someone who's lived outside the service area for five years, there are people that live inside the service area that probably get a lot of a lot of good use out of this. I would very much like to. But yes, yeah, so we've been over this several times, in fact. You know what? I said what I said. Uh, in, in Dear Waymo. I said what I said. I'm not going to complain about it anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had my shot. But yeah, that was that is genuinely interesting that there, are, like both loops around, there are actual tons of people using Weibo. Um, basically it. Um, I'm going to keep rolling until we hit the back to the start. But, uh, if you'd like to hex exit here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, if, if there, anything interesting happens, it'll be in the description anyway, so. Off we go.
almost there. Don't forget your belongings. Desynced. Nice. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. Ah, all right. Wait a minute. Okay, I have to test this. It's the thing where you can like change the drop off after you pulled over already. Okay. No, it's too close. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Hope you have a good night. doors all the way. Thanks. <laughs> 